welcome to the Reconnection Club podcast, the show that helps parents heal troubled relationships with their adult sons and daughters. I'm your host, psychotherapist Tina Gilbertson. Each week, I'll offer you compassion, clarity, and personal development tips designed to help you reconnect not only with your child, but with yourself. Now let's get started. If you celebrate Christmas and you're estranged from your adult child or children, then this time of the year is probably especially difficult. And while everyone has to make their own decisions and plans for how to get through Christmas during an estrangement, I want to share a few thoughts to try to help you make the holiday a little bit more manageable. As always, if anything I say doesn't feel right for you or doesn't seem to fit your situation, just take whatever you can use and feel free to leave the rest. I'll begin with a reminder that millions of people struggle at Christmas time. There are many people estranged from family. There are so many other people suffering from depression, grief, anxiety, poor health. And there are people for whom life is just hard almost every day of the year. So the idea that everybody else is feeling festive and enjoying Christmas is simply not true. If you compare yourself to an imaginary everybody, you will feel more alone and out of step than you may actually be. And here's a sort of subtle point to keep in mind. If you're used to celebrating holidays with an estranged adult child and you're now facing the possibility of not being together this year, then there may be no way to get through this Christmas without feeling any unwanted emotions. So to cut down on extra suffering, let go of the idea of a clean escape from sadness, loneliness, resentment, embarrassment, or whatever is pulling at you when you think about Christmas. If a holiday is important to you and you can't be with the people who mean the most to you, you will have emotions about that. Nothing is wrong with having painful feelings about a situation that is painful. But at the same time, The choices you make before and during the holiday season can affect the quality, severity, and duration of any unavoidable pain. You don't have a choice about this estrangement, but you do have a surprising number of choices within it. What I see, year after year, unfortunately, is unwillingly estranged parents starting to wonder months in advance what to do about Christmas. Should they send a card? What about gifts? Should they issue an invitation? If so, should it be an open invitation, or should they ask for a response? Should they call an estranged adult child on Christmas the way they used to? And so on. As the holiday draws closer, some parents feel more and more driven to do something, or to make a decision about what they'll do. And I believe that at the base of much of this mounting anxiety and general suffering, lies a notorious enemy of human tranquility, and that is uncertainty. It's not knowing what's going to happen for Christmas, not knowing the right thing to do as a rejected parent and possibly grandparent, not knowing what your adult child or children expect from you, given that they are estranged. To overcome all that painful uncertainty, you need a plan that you can put in place and trust for getting through Christmas. A plan that doesn't ignore estranged relationships, but also doesn't depend on finding answers to unanswerable questions, or on receiving responses from adult children who are estranged. In short, to counteract the emotional impacts of uncertainty at Christmas, you must create your own certainty. And perhaps the most straightforward way to do that, and this may kick up all sorts of feelings too, but... Remember, there's no getting away from unwanted feelings sometimes. The simplest plan is to act as if you will not see or even speak with your estranged adult child or children this Christmas. Believe me, I know that's intensely sad, and it's the last thing you want to think about, let alone embrace as a plan. But wondering and worrying and hoping and waiting will not change the outcome, and they will rob you of peace and maybe any possibility of enjoying the holidays as well. By planning to spend Christmas without an adult child who's estranged, you will take 
appropriate control of your experience. You will decide how to spend Christmas within the current reality, which includes estrangement. If an estranged adult child becomes available for Christmas, that will be a happy surprise, something to celebrate. But to be kind to yourself, to minimize the suffering whipped up by uncertainty, ask yourself whether it might serve you best to plan on Christmas without them this year. By plan, I mean a conscious, intentional, and detailed strategy that covers both your emotions and your behavior. Those are two separate tracks that will take you through Christmas, and both need to be laid down ahead of time for best results. Let's start with your emotions. As a therapist and author of a book on how to constructively embrace emotions, I encourage you to consciously make room in your heart for all the feelings that come up around Christmas. That might include scheduling time to review episodes 139 and 140 of this podcast. That was a two-part episode called Emotions of Estrangement, and I'll link to those and to my constructive wallowing book in the show notes. Briefly, when it comes to emotions, you just want to make sure that you're not stuffing them like a Christmas turkey. Because keeping painful feelings suppressed for weeks at a time is exhausting, and it encourages emotionally impulsive behavior. Those feelings want to come out one way or another. When you willingly experience your emotions intentionally, consciously, labeling them without judgment or self-criticism, you will free up potentially a lot of energy. And you can use that energy to create an action plan for getting through Christmas without your estranged adult child or children. For specific ideas on planning, check out the article linked to in the show notes called Make a Detailed Plan to Get Through Special Days. If you're worried, as so many parents are, that your estranged adult child might think you don't love them if you plan on Christmas without them, review the evidence. Does your adult child have a history of complaining about not feeling loved? If the answer is no, then proceed in peace with your plans. Adult children are adults. They can always reach out if they want to touch base with you. If you know for a fact that an adult child doesn't believe that you love them, that problem is unfortunately not likely to be fixed by a Christmas greeting. With a problem that size, therapy may be helpful, first individually with just you, and possibly later, family therapy with your adult child. I say individually first because you want to be ready for family therapy. There's a podcast episode about preparing for family therapy, which I'll link to in the show notes. If you haven't already done so, you might also read my Reconnecting book and consider joining the Reconnection Club we have many courses and workshops and expert interviews to help you understand yourself and your child or children better. Here are the points I've talked about so far. Number one, try to remember that millions of people suffer at Christmas time. What you're going through doesn't make you a stranger to other human beings. Two, there's probably no way to get through Christmas without feeling some emotional pain about being estranged. For many, if not most people in your position, unwanted feelings will be part of the experience. 3. Uncertainty is the enemy of inner peace. To remove it around Christmas, create certainty by making and keeping plans for yourself. 4. Assume your estranged adult child or children will remain estranged over Christmas and plan accordingly. Having yourself scheduled won't stop them from reaching out if they want to, and it won't stop you from changing your plans if you need to. Here's one final tip for getting through Christmas with an unwanted estrangement. Find ways to remind yourself daily that you matter. No one else, not your children, your friends, your spouse, or even your own parents, can determine your inherent worth and dignity. Only you can do that. And even if you feel abandoned by other people, it's not necessary to abandon yourself. Getting through Christmas with a plan for self-compassion, self-kindness, and maybe even a treat or two is a good way to show yourself how much you genuinely matter. Until next time, remember that you are a loving, lovable, 
and still growing human being. So please take good care of yourself. Bye for now. If you've enjoyed this episode of the Reconnection Club podcast, I invite you to check out ReconnectionClub.com. The Reconnection Club is for parents at any stage of estrangement from their adult, child, or children. So whether you've just realized there's trouble between you, you've been living with estrangement for years, or you're newly reconciled but still walking on eggshells, the Reconnection Club is your essential resource for information, support, and continued personal growth. With our courses and workshops, expert interviews, monthly Q&A calls, and a friendly, active community, the Reconnection Club is a wonderful place to be for anyone suffering the pain of estrangement from an adult, child, or children. So check it out at ReconnectionClub.com. 